you haven't guessed, this video today is purely going to be around Stasis, Mask of Bacchus, and a forgotten scout rifle that I absolutely love. If you haven't guessed what it is, it's called Symmetry. It's a really good scout rifle. We've got overload scout rifles this season. We've also got overload Stasis grenades. And like I said, this scout rifle is an absolute joy. I really love it. It's called Symmetry. It's got a pair called there called Dynamic Charge, Precision Hits. Build up dynamic charge, swap into arc seek mode, increases damage and partially re reloads the magazine based on the number of charges. So it works a little bit like Grand Overture. You do damage but you have to get crit damage and that's going to charge up the dynamic charge. And then all you do is hold to reload and you can let loose. The other part of this build is going to be Mask of Bacchus because symmetry is arc. Mask of Bacchus, you're going to take full advantage of your arc weapons whilst you're on your stasis subclass what it does it replaces your stasis subclass with a longer range faster moving shift that partially cloaks you after shifting your arc weapons deal increased damage to combatants for a short time and you deal increased damage to all slowed or frozen combatants when you dodge you get a 10 percent damage boost to your arc weapons like so and then if they're slowed, you potentially get another 10% as well if they're slowed. So throwing your super or a dust field grenade and doing your light shift is going to get you a 20% damage increase. And it works pretty nicely with symmetry because with when you've got that dynamic charge going, it does plenty of damage and you're just going to boost it with your Bacchus and some other things that I'm going to show you in the video as well. One of the fragments that's really good to run with this is Whisper of Rending. I've covered this quite a bit this season, but what it does, primary ammo weapons do increase damage to Stasis Crystals and Frozen Targets. And because Symmetry takes primary ammo, it's going to work perfectly with that. So we've got that and the Mask of Bacchus all for extra damage. It's a 42% damage increase, Whisper of Rending. You'll see there, 3304. I've slowed him, and now it's going to go all the way up to 4708. That's all extra damage. So it's a really nifty little fragment to run and on top of that it does actually work with the exotic perk the when you do the revolution you can hold it and you just hip fire like that so you do an absolute crap ton of damage so the whisper of rending i just want to clarify that does work with the revolution the exotic trait on the symmetry so it's a really nice little bonus and all this together and it just feels like a really nice solid scout rifle being able just to clear rooms out like so, uh, as long as you're freezing things with your dust field grenade or your super, just let rip and you do loads of extra damage. You get the 10% from back risk for being slowed and if you dodge you're also going to get another 10% like so. And you can just clear rooms out at ease. You don't have to aim once you've got your evolution up to times 20, just switch that firing mode and you can just go ham on some of these ads and it clears rooms out as good as any super in the game. It actually feels like you're using a super. And you'll notice here i've got some other little tricks to show you with regards to some weapons to use with it for a bit of damage or a bit of a boost to your dps as well and it's a really really nice little combo hothead is a really good one to run because it's got lasting impression on there i've also got auto loading so this is the type of thing you can do with it throw your super he's going to be slowed to get your back wrist perk put your lasting impression in there dodge and then let it rip with your symmetry once your lasting impression rocket's gone off, stick another one in, get back to your symmetry. And it does pretty nice damage. Again, I'm not going to say it's one of these where you're going to do an absolute insane amount of DPS, but it's a really solid option. Uh, just like so, again, you can use this in loads of different encounters. Boss, champion, damage, whatever you want. But for me, the main strength of symmetry is for clearing ads like so. You'll see, again, I'm, I've talked about the overload scout rifles this season. It absolutely demolishes overloads in every content that I've tried so far. Just keeps them in place and it does so much damage with that whisper of rending in your back wrist. But it's really good just for clearing rooms out. Like so, you'll, you'll notice here, everything's just sort of dissolving. Yellow numbers everywhere. That's all the mixture of everything that you've seen working together perfectly there's some more things we can add to it as well we can actually stack high energy fire pretty easily on a stasis build uh, i'll show you how to do that in a second but just look at the state of these yellow numbers everywhere clearing adds out easy i'm not even having to aim that's the power of the symmetry but grim harvest is one of the aspects that you need to run with this particular build because we can use the elemental shards to give us high energy fire as long as we run this mod elemental shards stasis shards count as elemental wells so as long as we slow, kill something that's slow or frozen, we run elemental charge, 
and we're going to be able to become charge wall eight times two very very easily so you can stack high energy fire with everything that you've already seen high energy fire stacking with the whisper of rending it's also stacking with mask of bacchus so it's a really really nice little setup to boost your damage so that is everything i will leave a dim link in the video description i'll also drop a build card because i've got some other stuff on there that i didn't talk about uh, but there's the build card i will leave a dim link in the video description let us know what you think thanks for watching have a great day